Hi, Sam here from CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultants Express Tip Cross-Section Solutions, Part 1. A common issue when cutting cross-sections is to have multiple segments when you're expecting only one, such as you see in this cross-section. In the side slope, I have two segments, and I know that I should just have one. There's nothing wrong with the template. What has happened is in the triangulation. If I look at the triangles where that cross-section was cut, you can tell that a triangle cuts across where the cross-section was cut. One easy way to correct this problem is to go to Surface Properties, and on the Advanced tab, there is an option called Use Features Only. If I toggle that on and apply, then I can update the cross-section to see the results. I'll refresh the surface Highway 70, which is my design surface. And there you see the corrected cross section. Notice it does nothing to the triangulation. This can also occur when you cut a skewed section. I'll make a selection set out of the skew line where I want the section to be cut. Then I'll go to Evaluation, Cross Sections. Under Create Cross Section, I'll choose Custom. Tell it that I'm using a line string and then add the graphic for the skewed section. Under General, I'll make sure the surfaces are toggled on, apply, and cut the cross section. It's hard to tell from the graphic, so I'll annotate. Go to Evaluation, Cross Sections again. This time I'll go to Annotate, make sure that I'm on the correct cross section set. Under General, I'll make sure that Highway 70 is toggled on and that I'm annotating segments. I'll apply and notice that I have just the segments between the features annotated. Of course if the features were shown on the section I could also just annotate between the features but the graphic itself would still have the extra vertices. There are other methods for taking care of some of these problems, which we'll look at next time. Thanks for watching, and be sure and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and sign up for our emails.